In this video, we're going to focus on the pan mode options in the Chart.js plugin Zoom in Chart.js. And with this, more specifically, the mode option that matches with the pan, we can control the motion of it. So we have the up and down motion currently. And we, all, and we want to have maybe the left and right motion. And of course, in this case, left and right might not be always working because of our chart. Like if we make this smaller, you can see the chart still fits in its space. So we might be able to expand part, but also if we zoom in here, eventually we are able to go left and right because we're getting more and more focus within the data here. And then by default, this will extend or we are able to go left and right by that side. So because right now, if you look at the mode settings here, the mode settings by default is set on X and Y, meaning you're able to go left and right or horizontal or Y, you're able to go up and down, meaning vertical. So this is the allowed panning directions. So let's start to control that because the default is X and Y. We can adjust this, but we might not notice many, any difference because we already see the full width of our chart. So we say here mode, and then in here we'll just say X. We want to only go left and right. And remember, this is a string. So as you can see here, single quotations, it's a string. So if we save this, we go back here and refresh. And now if I click on it and I go up and down, it doesn't work. If I go left and right, it doesn't work as well because we don't have any, or our chart is not big enough and it will automatically fit on the full size here. The moment we zoom in, at that very moment, you're able to go left and right as well because at that moment we're zooming in, we can view more of the chart. All right, so this is the most important part because here, if we do only Y, you're not able to go horizontally However, right now, as you can see here, we are already able to go up and down. So our vertical setting is already fine because we can go here by infinity. And that's it. So that's the most important part. This mode with X will be more and more useful the moment you have more of a chart that you can see. So the bigger the chart, the easier it becomes or the more common you will use it. And if you combine it with Zoom, Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.